here below Call Dam trying to snag a paddlefish. It's uh, early January and these paddlefish stay here year round. We have a population uh, specifically in the wintertime. It's really good snagging from the bank. Uh, and then, you know, obviously with a lot of release below the dam in the spring and summer, it can be really good. But uh, this is my favorite time of the year to come down here and they've been catching a lot of fish and some really big ones lately. So we're just going to give it a shot. It's fine. Spot, ain't it? I mean, if I was gonna catch one, you'd think there'd be one right there. Today might not be our day. Like I said, it might not be our day. I believe there was a fish on it. Yeah, I mean, I was hung up, but look at that. No, I bent it out. There you go. That's the second fish I've hit and it breaks instantly. I may have to tie like a mono leader on it. I'm gonna do a knotless rig. Uh, I'm no expert at it by any means. I've seen other people do it better, but it tends to work for me. So I double up my line, run it through the, the eye of my treble and I bring the, the down line, the side that you're going to tie the sinker on, bring it down against the straight part of the treble. I'm going to wrap my loop. One, two, three, four, five times. Then, I'm going to make that loop go around all of the prongs of my hook. Try to keep it loose enough to pull it tight, which is always the hardest part. There we go. That was a whole lot easier than it normally is. <laughs> For our conditions today, I like a five, weight, a five ounce weight approximately 18 inches down from my from my barb or not from my barb but from my treble hook barbs would be illegal don't use them just a simple it's only simple if it works out simple simple overhand knot slip your weight back through it Pinch it down. 
maybe a couple extra overhands just for good measure. And that's it. Well, we happen to pick the only day of the year that the Corps of Engineers is going to do a prescribed burn on the other side of the river. He just helps clean everything up and uh, helps keep invasive species out like cedar trees and helps control Cerisa lespedeza, uh, lets them get, get some different things uh, uh, cleaned up like driftwood and, and everything else. Hey, don't let the time of year get you down. Uh, paddle fishing can be had year round here in Oklahoma and it, it's, it is one of the greatest if not the greatest state to fish for paddle fish uh, that I'm aware of. See I like gar. I like smoked paddle fish. Pretty good that way. Some of the frustrations of paddle fishing begin when you can't, can't hit one. Uh, I have some friends that were down here, or know some guys that were down here less than 10 days ago and they caught over 30 paddle fish between two of them. And today, we may have bumped one, we may not have, and I've caught one gar. So that's just the luck of it. But when the waterfowl hunting slow, um, and you're in this area, it's a good place to try it. You might not catch anything like we've experienced so far today, or you might catch 20, you know? It's just a luck, just like fishing, just like anything else. Um, some days are good, some days aren't. Maybe next time.